Welcome to the third annual Container Garden Challenge. And in this video, I'm going to show you my container garden and tell you how to get access to the other container gardens. Keep watching. If we're just meeting, I'm Denise Jordan and I teach traditional homemaking for today's homemaker. So if you want to learn more about making and keeping a home, subscribe and double tap that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Okay, let's jump into it. This particular video is part of a collaboration hosted by myself, This and That with Denise Jordan, Lacey at Lacey Space and Chrissy at Make It With Chrissy. And we like to issue a challenge to homemakers and other creators, gardeners, whoever, to create a container garden to beautify their homes. So today, I am planting my container garden, but this time, instead of growing flowers, I decided in light of all the uncertainties that have been going on in the world, I would grow some vegetables. So I'm going to plant some carrots, some onions, and some peas. So let's get that started. I picked this baby bassinet up thrifting. It cost me $10 and I thought it would be perfect for a container garden. I brought it home and my husband put some feet on it for me so that it wouldn't be sitting flat on the ground. And it's worked out perfectly. So I get started putting in the peas and they are the Fairy Morris Green Arrow Bush Peas. And then the sunflowers go in and they're going to be used to give the peas something to lean against. And then in front of those, I put in my carrot seeds. So that first row of carrots are the Fairy Morris Scarlet Mantis carrots, and they're your more traditional length carrots. And then that last row is the Burpee Short and Sweet Carrot. And I just wanted to see what those little short carrots would be like. And then I learned that I needed to plant onion sets or chives all around the carrots to protect them from the carrot flies. I guess the onion smell camouflages the smell of the carrots so that the carrot flies don't find them. And then of course they need to get water. Now let me take this opportunity to say if you are not familiar with Lacey at Lacey Space and Chrissy at Make It With Chrissy, you're missing out. You have to check out both of those women's channels because they both do some amazing DIY projects and Lacey's gardening is always on point. So be sure and check them out. I will link their channels in the description box below and there will also be a playlist so that you can see what all the other creators have done in their container gardens so be sure and check those out my container gardens looking pretty darn good my sunflowers appear to be thriving and my peas are starting to come up i am so pleased and then i can see right in here where my carrots are coming up and then these are onion sets and the onion sets are planted around the carrots to kind of help confuse the carrot flies so here are chives and they're growing nicely I had some on baked potatoes the other day and then these are onions so I'm really excited so it's probably been about maybe 10 12 days since I planted these and they're coming along nicely and I'm loving it it's been almost four weeks. Now look at my container garden. Look how big those sunflowers are. And the peas are coming up nicely. Look at them. They're starting to climb up and 
put little tendrils up on the sunflower stalks. And look, this one's wrapping little tendrils around an onion leaf. Ta-da! Here is my container garden. And just look at it. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? So you can see that my sunflowers have done very well. And this one has already started to bloom. And then these have heads on them and they'll be blooming shortly. So I'm really pleased with that. So here's what my container garden is looking like underneath the sunflowers. So here you can see some onion sets that are coming up. And then over on the ends, the shives are doing nicely. But down here, you can really see where the carrots are coming up nicely as well. Back here, these peas aren't doing so well. So at first I thought I was over watering, but because of the sunflowers, I had to water because they were just really drying the basket out. But then I realized those peas were just getting burned. So when I moved it to a different location, they seemed to be taking off. And so see, here's some new greenery that's coming on those peas. And I'll just lean that against that little sunflower there. And they can use that to climb up on. And then here you can see where the carrots are coming along. There and there. But the carrots in the front row seem to be doing a lot better. And those are the ones that are farther away from the sunflowers. So maybe the sunflowers are taking too much nourishment. So here's my container garden. So as soon as you're done here, go on over to Lacey's space and check out her container garden. And then Chrissy at Make It With Christy and check out her container garden. And then be sure to check out the playlist so that you can see all the other container gardens that the other creators have made. You will just be so amazed at the creativity that YouTube creators can bring to container gardening. And just so you know, I've raised three children and I have managed a home for more than 45 years. So if you want to learn more about making and keeping a home, subscribe. I can teach you how to be a traditional homemaker in an untraditional world. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying, you are not done yet. Click on the link in the comment section below and check out my video on how to make a DIY flower garden in a flower crate. I'll see you next time.